she started making her way around to the front of my body, and I'm like, she is going to fill and check my groin area. And I'm not tucked. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like make believe. Something that the fans can't see. Like a fantasy. Except it's real. The fairies tell stories. Hey y'all, so I am at the airport. I just got through baggage claim and stuff. I am... <clears throat> on like the American Airlines side. So like that's pretty cool. I got some pretty good lighting over here. Let me see if I can get something situated. All right y'all, so yes, I'm at the airport. Oh my God, my braids look so amazing. But my head is on fire. It's on fire. Not in like a bad way, like, oh my God, your hair's gonna be damn and she braids your hair so long. No, it, like, this shit is in, okay? It's gonna be in for another two months, like it's supposed to be. And I'm gonna get it touched up. Probably a full set of braids for my birthday. I don't know, for my birthday, maybe I'll wear a wig. I digress. I just stopped by Starbucks, so the seat is the Starbucks is in the cut. I will never tell you hoes which motherfucking Starbucks is um, LaGuardia because it will carry at that point. It will be a whole line the whole long ass walk you gotta take because it's really in the cut it's like no gates over here you gotta know you gotta know but um either way quick story time quick info about the airport because my flight doesn't leave for like like i don't board for like a whole nother hour so i'm probably just gonna chill over here because it's like nobody's over here okay so story time being non-binary or someone that is a different gender than cis male, cis female. Um, but being a non-binary femme or being somebody that is trans identifying, you know what? Let me just get into it. You have to go through TSA at the motherfucking airport. People only want to talk when I'm doing shit. Thank you. So, basically, I've always had issues going through the airport because I've always looked really feminine and I always like dress super incognito when I come. Oh, that's an airplane. I can't be mad. I'll take that. People often have always had a hard time guessing my gender um, because we live in this fucking binary world where people have to stress themselves out over your identity, which is completely a waste of time and energy. Um, but I digress. <laughs> I get out of my taxi, I'm walking in to check my bags, print my boarding pass or whatever at the little self thing, you know, everything you gotta do with your goddamn self now, because after COVID, everybody feels like they don't gotta do a goddamn thing, even if, even though you might work in a customer service industry, people feel like, I don't gotta do nothing for you no more, there's no such thing as customer service, I'ma just point you to the nearest computer. I'll take that, because sometimes I don't like being bothered. But this wasn't one of those days though, I'm feeling very personable. I go through baggage claim, I check my two bags, I get, my one bag was like five pounds overweight, but I always bring me a big carry-on just in case I need to, you know, stow some items away. So I did that, I did the little switcheroo, got my bag to exactly 50 pounds, because I'm a bad bitch and that's what bad bitches do. We max out, shup her. I go to TSA. TSA. Oh, that was over. Um, but motherfucking TSA then got me again. <sighs> so I'm going through TSA like this. Let me give y'all the two. I'm going through TSA like this. Okay. Can I set the scene? Can I set the scene for you? So I'm going, I'm going through TSA like this, you know, as I do, as I do, right? I go through TSA like this. This is how I go through. Okay, I don't have my side bus. Get up out of here, girl. I go through TSA like, mm. I'll be waiting in long. I'll be like, mm. Okay. Oh. All right. I wear my slides. You know, I like to have my toes out. You always got to take your motherfucking shoes off when you come to the airport. So I'm like, I'm wearing slides. I'm tired of wearing sneakers. I'm, I am I hate that. Like, I hate all of the socks and the, oh, ugh, the socks get stuck in your shoes. It just ugh, it's too much. So 
what I do. I bring me a little cute pair of hoodies. I take my socks off. I put my hoodies on. I go through the body scanner. The dreaded fucking body scanner. So here's the tea. And I didn't know this before I asked my house sister, or my house sister actually told me because I posted this story time on Facebook. Um, and I'm just like, mm. I don't know why this keeps happening to me, but every time I go through TSA, they pull me to, I never make it through the body scanner. I never make it through, and they're like, go ahead, bitch, do your shit. So, carrying her fucking luggage cart, like, okay. I go into the body scanner. <sighs> Throw my hands up. Wait. Playing my song, butterflies fly away. No, they didn't fly away. The butterflies all came into my stomach because I know what the fuck is about to happen. I go through the body scanner. They say, do you have anything in your pocket? Oh my gosh. Oh. I'm sorry, y'all. I like 30 frames per second better and it was like killing me to see the quality. But, so, I go through the body scanner. I put my arms up and they always ask me, ma'am, do you have anything in your pockets? Do you have anything in your pockets? And I'm always like, no. I don't have anything in my pockets. Y'all tell me to take stuff on my pockets. So they're like, okay, can you put your hands back up? So I always put my hands back the motherfucker up. They never be playing my song and the butterflies never motherfucker fly away. Put my hands up. Um, okay, ma'am, can you step to the side? You want me to slide to the left, slide to the right. I'm not, I'm tired of doing the cha-cha TSA slide. I'm tired of the TSA slide. But I want to get on my flight, and I don't want to get tackled at the airport. So, I do the TSA slide, and I slide to the motherfucking left. Then they ask me to slide to the right, so I slid to the right. So they're like, um, we detected something on your back and in like your waist area so we have to do a full body pat down front and back um she's gonna do it they had a lady um tsa officer do my full body search because they are identifying me as a cisgender woman i didn't i didn't pump through like that my id is not updated it gives what has been given since high school even the picture is given the picture from high school so I, i'm a walking clock okay you can clock me once i give you my id bitch it's over it's over for me but they don't see the id when they're scanning your body those tsa officers just see your physical being you only show your id at when you go to check your bags get your boarding pass and when you scan it to go in to take off your items, put them in a little crate, and then walk through the scanner. The people that are scanning you, they have to click male or female. But they don't ask you for ID. You just standing in the line. You don't have no belongings. Your pockets are empty, bitch. So they're not asking for ID at that point. So they just judge me as a girl and push me through. Then they fucking stop me and be like, girl, hold on because we detecting things. Well, I'm sorry, love. What are you detecting? I need to know. So the lady, she starts to search me down. She starts here. She goes behind. She's like, do you mind? Mind you, she was a white woman, very respectful. I was so happy. She said, do you mind if I touch your hair? I have to just search behind your neck. I said, it's fine, love. Go ahead. Because I knew it wasn't like, a, oh, my God, I love your hair. I want to touch it and pet you like a motherfucking pet in the petting zoo. It wasn't giving that. She was just doing her job. So she got back here. She didn't even touch my hair. She was giving. She was... Miss Thing, he's not fucking doing it. He's not gonna do it. I'm acting like I speak Spanish. She is hollering over there. She's being a spicy mommy and I'm not feeling it right now. Let that man be. Bitch, you sound crazy. I don't give a fuck if you right or wrong. Stop yelling so loud because you sound nuts to us. Okay. They are not moving this argument down the hallway. They are very much stationary. Okay, either way, I got my AirPods and I'll be forgetting. That's me, my other people's business. Nah, she's getting closer. She's getting closer. She want to fight. Okay. She's turning in for me. Basically, she's patting me down behind my neck and then she gets behind my back and she does, you know, she does the arm hits and everything, you know. Oh, God. Now it's fucking children. Bitch. 
families in public just really just they don't thrill me. The families in public I really don't do. But okay, we have some we have some we have some sort of silence. So you know she's spilling on my body, my boo 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 tea, and she starts to make her way around on my hip. She starts to make her way down and down. And I'm just in my head, I'm like, oh my gosh, she's going to fill my groin area. I'm not tucked. So as she's feeling around, she's feeling my boo boo tea, my boo 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 tea. Yeah, really, because it's getting thick. So I'm like, y'all detect it. Y'all detected that, the, the booty, y'all detected the, the, y'all detected that, all that junk, the badonka donk in the motherfucking trunk of trunk, like I know I didn't have it last time when I came, but I ain't know y'all was weighing a girl too, like, yeah, yeah, you know, but, um, no, she paid that, she paid the booty kadooty, she started making her way around to the front of my body, and I'm like, she is going to feel and check my groin area and I'm not tucked so what do we do now so for the next point three seconds that felt like three hours as she traveled down my navel um <laughs> she very much takes the back of her hand and swipes it down and I, I, I could feel she didn't she didn't do this huge reaction don't let my my drama of a story make you think that she was ever wrong she was always respectful but i was just so embarrassed because i could feel her energy kind of shift like when she recognized what actually just went like what just happened that i was singled out because i was a non-binary femme and i was misgendered period I was just misgendered, so that's why this whole thing happened. You thought I was a cis, hetero female, and I'm, I'm not. Y'all misgendered me and never gave me a chance to discreetly do anything or identify as myself or do anything. So this should probably change in TSA because that was super not optional, and I could have helped y'all before we even got to that point and wasted everybody's motherfucking time and money. Some people wait until they know, like, why that person doing that? Let me make my announcement in my mind. Like, girl, I, I, I didn't hear people whisper down the hallway. Do you wait till you're right behind me after I see you looking me through the window to make your announcement? I just need to get on my flight. That's it. So, before I miss my fucking boarding time telling this motherfucker story, let me get to the point. So, she recognizes that Miss Thing is packing and she gets up, she's like, Thank you. I'm like, Thank you so much. And she I was she literally just she said Because she was given I could tell she felt bad. I can tell she I could tell she was embarrassed as well that she was even a part of the motherfucking bullshit. But I was just embarrassed. I don't think anybody else nobody else probably knew what's going on. And that's something that I also have to take into account too. People aren't always paying as much attention to you as you think they are. And sometimes when people do pay attention and they want to mind your business, a lot of times when people figure that out or they clock your tea or whatever they're trying to do, whatever fucked up shit that they just can't let go of in their brain, so they have to put it on you. Once they make that realization sometimes, a lot of people will move on. You have your guys and your girls that will try to turn it on you and do too much or make a scene or hackle and whatever but this wasn't one of those situations i really just think everybody was good i'm just trying to get through tsa nobody's really paying me much attention something always gets pulled to the side for something and a lot of times black girls always get pulled over i always see black girls get pulled over whenever we have braids because i just think that braids are dense so they're they anytime you have braids on your back they just send something on your back they have to check it they, they know it's braids so we go through that a lot i know a lot of people probably go through different um forms of I don't want to say, well, 
I don't want to say it's not discrimination. It is in a way because it's very embarrassing. It's very dehumanizing. It's very like you just feel so singled out and I like just different and just like uh like why can't I get to move through life like you know with the same privileges as everybody else being able to mind my business and just move the fuck on. But that's not always the motherfucking tea. So I got through TSA and then I posted this story time on Facebook and then my house sister, which is a woman of trans experience, she said, um, oh baby, the reason that that keeps happening to you, because I'm like, why is this happening? Like, what the fuck? Like, what? It's not making no sense to me. She said, the reason it's not happening to you is because they're scanning you as a cis female. And when they scan you as that, if you're not tough, they're going to basically see your package. It's going to be a bulge, a heat bulge on the screen. <laughs> a bulge of heat on the screen in between your legs on your groin area. And they're going to say, unless your ovaries have fallen out and you are carrying them in between your legs, um, that's not supposed to be there. So we got to check that. So I don't know. I guess to help sometimes, I guess you could tell us. Bitch, I'm still not talking coming to the airport, bitch. Now I, now I pull up to the motherfucking um, scanner. I'll be like, scan me as a boy. Scan me as a boy. I don't want to do this with you. Scan me as a boy. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, oh, I can move the fuck through? Yeah, I bet you don't want to touch on me now, baby. Now I spoke my own seat when I pumped through the airport. Give a girl, not on my fucking watch. No clock on my watch. Bitch. Oh, that was kind. That was kind. No clock on my watch, bitch. Don't clock on my watch. I don't clock on my watch. Ooh. Yeah. So, that was story time. Then I found out why, but I still don't give a fuck. So, uh, uh, uh. You still gonna have to pat me down, bitch. Ah, get on your knees, ho. Um, yeah, that's just what's going on in my life right now. But I'm about to go to my gate and then board my flight. So, yeah. It was intense. It was a lot. Like, I don't know how I feel about it. Um, if you want to help me out, you can cash at me at Milan Garza. I'm just kidding. I'm not making fun of anybody's trauma or anything. But that shit really did happen. It continues to happen. And it gets on my fucking nerves. So, I mean, if you want to give me some reparations, I mean... I'm not bad, that shit, Milan Garcon, I'll cash out. But, um, yeah, super embarrassing, it sucked, but I'm still a bad bitch. I think I'm a Starbucks, so life is okay. It could be better, not great, but, you know, like, like Courtney said, people are dying in the world, and there's still a fast people, so. Still got shit to work with, but, yeah, I'm gonna go get on my phone. Thanks for listening to me tell the story, be dramatic, and then, but facts are facts. I think she's telling me to get the fuck out of here, okay?